Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to make a paper origami pinwheel. It is very simple and all the materials you need is just a double sided square piece of paper. Okay, so I got two sided magenta and white and we want to first start on the white side. So fold it diagonally like this, so from top to bottom. Try to be neat as possible. Okay, from here, you just make it a triangle like that, and from this corner to this corner, fold there. Okay, so now you got this. Unfold all the flaps now. Unfold all the things you fold it. Now it looks like this. Now just fold the top to the middle crease. Top to middle. Okay. And from the bottom to middle. Okay. So from here, just turn it over and do this the right to the middle and the left to the middle. Okay, so now you got something that looks like this. From here, make it a triangle like that. From here, just go like that. And top to the middle. Again, top, middle. Okay. Okay, and bottom to top. Bottom to top. I mean, bottom to middle. Top to middle and bottom to middle. Yeah. Okay, so now you got something that looks like this. Now you want to turn it over so it looks like this. And then from here, just go this side to the middle and this side to the middle. Okay, so now you got something that looks like this. We're almost at the end. So far it was easy, right? Okay. So now all you need to do is, this is the hardest part of the origami pinwheel. Open this, so it's like this. Just put your finger underneath the red flap. I mean, the colored flap. Open this, pull it out. So it's like that. But just pull this corner all the way out. And then fold it back in like so. So what, it, what I did, it was like, it was like this, right? I put my finger underneath the colored flap. I took it all the way out, so it's like that. And I just folded it back down. So it looks like this. Wait, let me just sharpen my corner. Okay, so it looked like this. Now, rotate it and do the same with this side. Take it all out. And then, once you're taking that all out, just fold it back down. And then make your corner sharp to be to make it look like a real pinwheel. Okay. Okay. So from here, it, it looks like this. You want to flip it around so that you get your white parts that you did not do. So before it was like this. You want to flip it around. Remember to flip it around. Okay. So from here, just like the red ones, we want to get the white one, open it up like that, and then and then fold it down. Okay? Then we have one more white flap left. We put our finger there, we take it out, and then we fold it down. We we'll fold it down. So there you go. You got your pinwheel. It looks like this. Okay, so now moving on to what you can do with it. Usually, I I give it to my friends by opening these two sides up, 
putting double sided tape right there, invisible I guess, and just put it down. Also, do it with the other side. If you want to just stay like a knit and just start like this. But if you really want to make a design for your room or your kitchen, you you can also put it on your on wall. So just get this pin. You just put the pin in the middle of the pinwheel. So like that. And then you can put it on your wall, something that your parents will allow on the wall. Or if you have like a board like this one, um, which one? Something like that one, you can put it up so it can look like. Uh, how can I show? You, you can put it up so it looks like that. And that does look pretty cool on your wall. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video. Please comment below and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.